Hello friends, welcome back to one more weeks of Prophetic Voice Today Revelation series. So today I just want to take a quick minute and talk to you about relationship with God. You see there's a scripture in the Bible uh, which says, the Lord Jesus said, uh, on that last day many, many will come to me and say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not cast out demons in your name? And uh, then the Father will clearly say, I never knew you, you lawless and faithless generation. So I was just thinking, um, why? What, what, is the, what is the Lord trying to say in this? You see, the, the scripture very, very clearly says, the Lord said, I never knew you. Depart from me, you wicked ones, and you who practice lawlessness. You see that statement where the Lord said, I never knew you. See, knowing can only happen when there is a relationship. You see, without relationship also, you know, we can cast out demons because there's authority in the name of Jesus. We can do miracles because there's authority in the name of Jesus. We can have faith in faith and do things for God. But the reality is for God to know you and you to have a relationship with God, there is a knowing that needs to happen. You see, the Lord Jesus never started his ministry without a relationship. You see, the Father had to approve from heaven saying, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. And do you know when the father said that? Even before Jesus did the first miracle or healed the first sick person or ever before the Lord Jesus did anything, the father approved of his relationship with the son. It is only after that approval of that relationship with God the father, the Lord Jesus began to go and do all the great and awesome works in the name of the father. Uh, for what I want to, what I'm trying to stress here is, the, the, the factor of godly relationship. You know, don't pursue ministry if your relationship with God is in trouble. Don't pursue miracles, signs and wonders if your relationship with the Father, if your relationship with the Holy Spirit is fragile. You know, you need to pursue relationship first and then comes everything. You see, the kingdom of God works through relationship because we are called to be the sons and daughters of God through a relationship and that is done through Jesus, through the blood and through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross. Anything apart from that you pursue as the number one priority in your life could be in danger. Because after all the achievements, at the end of day, when you go to heaven, if the Father God says, I never knew you, what is the whole point of ministry? What is the whole point of miracles? What is the whole point of signs and wonders and everything that you do in this world? My beloved, I want to encourage you. It is all about a relationship. You see, the Bible goes on to say, and the Lord was with Joseph and he became a successful man. Even there, with Joseph is a relationship. I want you to say, I want you to tell you today, everything starts with a relationship. So say this with me, everything in my life is going to start with a relationship. And I want to pursue Jesus because I want to have a relationship with the Father. Because I want to have a relationship with Him. I want to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Rest all comes as a, as a byproduct of a relationship. You see, many people say, brother, pray for me. I want more anointing. I would just say, pursue God with a deeper relationship and there will be a deeper anointing over your life because the anointing is a manifestation of your relationship with God. Oh, hallelujah. The anointing is going to be a manifestation of your relationship with God. I want to take this moment and encourage you. Get into a relationship with Jesus more deeper than yesterday. If you're not been where you were yesterday and you're gone back, it's backsliding. But if you're progressing, that is when glory to glory happens. So I want to encourage you today. Can we just pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for a deeper relationship, for the things of God. Even before that, we want to have a deeper relationship with your Holy Spirit. We want to have a deeper relationship with you, Jesus. Oh Lord, change our hearts, mend our hearts, guard our hearts. That we will not look for the outward manifestations, but first we will look at having a relationship which glorifies you. A relationship which holds you in the throne of our hearts. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I want to encourage you again. Next week we will meet you in the same place through the same YouTube channel. But I want to encourage you this week. Pursue and put the relationship of God before everything else. And see what God will do through your life. God bless you. See you soon again.